Good evening, it's uh, it's been a warm and muggy day but thank god it rained. I've had a, an interesting day today. Um, finally managed to get to do a bit of a tobacco trade with me, which was nice. Um, Elliot, former member of the Nottingham Pipe Club, he's moved back down south now so can no longer be with us. Uh, overheard me moaning that I'd really like to try jackknife, the plug. You got stung in port in it. As you don't know, the UK is quite a high level of duty. With uh, the UK duty, you pretty much pay double, double the cost of buying the tobacco and the international shipping. So I sent him a, a goodie bag of some treats today, uh, some snuff, a couple of cigars, and uh, quite a few pipe tobaccos. Um, there's a sample of this, which is my new mix I'm working on, ready for the autumn. It's one of my seasonal tobaccos. It'll tie me over nicely till November when I start doing my Christmas blend. What well, end of November sort of time when I when I um, will be relaunching the Christmas spice. This tobacco. I'm calling it the Spice Turk. This is the uh, this is the second version. This is my second bowl of it this afternoon, actually, this evening. Requires a lot of attention to keep it going, so we might be going back to the drawing board on this one. Um, I mean, it's comprised mainly of Turkish tobacco. Uh, a good helping of spicy Cavendish in there, cinnamon and nutmeg, beautiful stuff. As you haven't tried the cinnamon and nutmeg Cavendish, on its own it's great, in mixtures, oh god it's divine. Um, as well as that there's also some, um, it's kind of a, a medium, mixed, mixed Virginia sort of thing, there's a little bit of fire cured, a little bit of sun cured in there, then it's topped off with a lovely rose flavour, so it tastes a lot like Turkish Delight. So that mixed with Turkish and a bit of spice, call it the Spice Turk. Um, It's not overly strong. Quite a mellow, quite a mellow mixture. Got a lot of flavour, but it's not strong at all. A um, bit different to most aromatics I've got as well. It isn't sweet. The rose taste is quite sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Um, I did get a nice goodie bag today. When I uh, postman came at work, nice jiffy bag. Uh, opened it up. Inside, I've got a rather large, rather large VSG door Corona, and one of the slightly bigger, one of the slightly big uh, Oliva Serie V's. Only thing is, didn't tell me it was inside. Luckily, I found out Sarah. So Sarah, if you do watch any of these videos, thank you ever so much. One for Sunday. I might have to be the VSG for Sunday, and then the Oliva, well, it's a little bit tough, so I need a couple of weeks in the humidor to soften up, but the uh, the VSG is perfect. It did get a little bit damaged in the post, but I'll patch it up, that's another problem. Um, I've had confirmation for what's happening at the next Pipe Club, which is a, a yearly, uh, which is a year, well, it's a birthday for the Pipe Club, basically. Doesn't like saying like at all this tobacco doesn't. But for that, for the one year uh, the one year anniversary of the new Nottingham Pipe Club, we're gonna be doing something uh, a little bit different than normal. As well as the usual samples that we have, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. A pipe drinking competition. We're gonna try and re bring back the British Pipe Smoking Council and we want a pipe smoking competition. I've only got enough for 12 people to enter, so anyone in the Nottingham area who wants to come and take part, you're welcome to. We stick to the traditions of the, uh, the pipe drinking competitions. Uh, everybody who enters will be issued with a, a clay pipe, courtesy of Wilson's of Sharrow, uh, producers of some damn fine snuffs, and, uh, and provide us to most tobacconists with the little sundries and things like that. Filter tips, cigarette papers, they do a big range of pipes, tobacco pouches, tobacco tins, absolutely all sorts. All your little odds inside your filters, blunts, fuel, everything. Um, 
we also buy a lot of Zippos from them. They're a great company. Um, I mean, obviously, many of you know them as snuff manufacturers, but they also provide a lot of tobacconist sundries. So uh, there'll be some six-inch Georgian clays. I mean, they've been making they've been making clay pipes for a long time. Many of them are made from the original original moulds from like seventeen hundred sort of thing. But no, so the plan is everybody gets a clay pipe, four grams of tobacco. I'm still undecided as to what tobacco we're going for yet. As many of you out there know. A lot of people are you're either a die hard aromatic fan or you're a die hard anti aromatic smoker. It comes quite interesting when you've all got to smoke the same tobacco. But I don't know what to go for yet. New Prince was one of my ideas, but we'll sort that out. So yeah, if anybody's interested, drop me a line, let me know, put your name down. Uh, we're going to have to start taking names in advance. Like I say, I can only do it for 12 people. It has to be self regulated. So four gram of tobacco, two matches. If it goes out for more than 10, 15 seconds, that's it. You're disqualified. You're out. Uh, I'm going to have a nice little trophy made. The Robin Hood tamper set on the top of them, sort of thing. Should go down quite well. Um, I've had a lot of people have contacted me and Ian who are on the pipe club with wanting to uh, set up other pipe clubs. Now, the way we do it is. I'm lucky. I, I work in the industry. I have access to lots and lots of tobaccos. I'm cheeky enough to ask for things for free off people. A lot of the time I get laughed at, but sometimes it happens. And we do get more tobacco than what we than what you would for your money. You don't have to run a pipe club like that. There's nothing stopping you being a bunch of guys, girls, kids. No. <laughs> being a bunch of guys or girls who meet up in a meet up in a pub. Bring a ten of your favourite tobacco. Bring a tin of tobacco that you bought and you're not really a big fan of. Bring it along. If you get half a dozen of you, a dozen of you to turn up, it's fantastic. All you need to do is just sit there, put your tins out on the table, let each other try things. It's more about, you know, getting together with other pipe smokers, talking to other people. If people see you outside the pub, there's quite a few of you there. They, a lot of people get interested. Um, you can get a lot of people into pipe smoking just by them sitting there watching you smoke. You can encourage it. You can even you can even pick up some cheap pipes that you find in charity shops. Give them clean. Offer to sell them to somebody for a couple of quid. Give them half a dozen pipe cleaners and a little handful of tobacco. You know, the more people we get into pipe smoking, the better. Um, but in order for me to help slightly in this quest for people wanting pipe clubs and to try the tobaccos, what I'm proposing is next month. Um, I'm going to uh, have the tobaccos for sale over at the Gorkman's website. So if anybody does want to take part, it has to be in the UK I'm afraid, um, in next month's pipe club, and to sample the tobaccos we sample, I'll let people know. Uh, there'll be, a, there'll be a, a link up coming up soon, not what we did in the video or a blog post about it. Um, and you get the chance to buy the tobaccos. And if you want to take part and you want to put your opinions forward and you want other people to know what you think, all you've got to do is upload a video, text review, anything like that, and you can get involved. Um, I've not got anywhere near confirming confirming next uh, what next month's tobaccos are going to be. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll try that. So if anybody's interested and anybody would like to take part in the tobaccos that we sample, like I say, I'm quite happy to sell the packs. We tend to do two different sample packs every time. Um, I've either got aromatics or non-aromatics, but you are welcome to take a mixture. How I'm going to exactly have these available for sale on the website and in different combinations, I haven't quite worked it out yet. But we'll uh, we'll come across something. So yeah, like I was saying, if any of you are interested, want to get involved in a in next month's pipe club, but you're not in Nottingham, you can't get up or down or in the middle, so it's one or the other. Um, then yeah, let me know. We can sort something out. You can take the tobaccos. I'll give get them. Make sure I get them to you. I'll post them out on the Thursday, so you should definitely have all of them by the Monday. Say, so, and you're welcome to join us. Right, that's about um, all I've got to say at the moment. Um, big thanks to Ads for the uh, the video from the pipe club. He does a he does some interesting videos. I'm a bit jealous of his weapons collection, to be honest. But right. I'm going to keep smoking this uh, Spiced Turk. I like the name. Mm. But yeah, this will be available in the autumn. 
might change it slightly. It has a very interesting taste to it. I don't know if it's going to be to everybody's liking. It's not exactly sweet, it's a little bit spicy. Not peppery, like a cinnamony sort of spice to it. But no, it's, uh, it's quite an enjoyable smoke. Of course I'm going to say that, I'll make it. But uh, I much prefer it to the first to the first blend I made. That burned a little bit too, a little bit too hot. It just wants to get hot, but never really seems to get there. Right. Okay, I'll call it at that. I'm assuming this video dragged on well over 10 minutes again. <coughs> People comment all the time that I tend to talk a lot in the shop. And I still am on her. I'm trying to round up this video and I'm still going on. Right. It's definitely the end. I'll be back later. I've got a, a 1990, uh, 1999 Quintero Panatello to try. Captain Quintero. I'm starting to enjoy his videos. He's a cool guy. I've only got a couple of videos up so far, but we'll have to start somewhere. I've only been doing it for two weeks. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so you heard, check out Captain Quintero. He's uh, got some interesting videos. And uh, cool. Right, okay. Goodbye.